Hi everyone and welcome to my next review. So as you can see today I am going to be reviewing a brand new coffee maker. So you may have seen my past video of the Nespresso Mini Me coffee maker um, which I stand by my view there. I absolutely love that coffee machine um, but the trouble is when you have a lot of coffee drinkers in the family you tend to go through the pods really really quickly and it gets quite expensive. So we decided to upgrade and go for this one which is a Breville One Touch coffee house machine. So this one has its own milk frother which was a massive selling point for me because I love a frothy coffee. So with this one you use actual coffee grounds rather than any pods. All it does accept the easy serve espresso pods which if you don't know what they are they're basically like tea bags with coffee in. So um, you, I'm not sure where you can buy them, I assume you can buy them online. For me it's just going to be a lot easier just to use actual coffee grounds. So let's get this unboxed and let's see what it's like. So here it is out of the box. As you can see, we have the gray version. This comes in four different colors. So you can have black, white, gray, or blue. So this comes with a number of gadgets. Obviously you've got your helpful instruction manual, which you need to keep safe because it's got things like your cleaning instructions and stuff in. You have a scoop for your coffee grounds. Obviously you've got the scoop section and you've got a little press as well to push it into the filters. You have your filter holder and you have two different filters themselves. So you have one for a single shot espresso and a double shot. So depending on how strong you like your coffee, you choose obviously what size you want. So the first thing you need to do before you use the machine for the first time is obviously clean it. So I have already washed out the milk and the water reservoirs. So now you need to put it through a cycle which is actually for um, a cappuccino. Uh, so you need to do that, fill both sections up with water and I will show you quickly how you do that now. What I will quickly say about this is it does have a really short lead but as you can see I've had to plug it in on an extension lead because it is a really short lead so if it's going somewhere where you need um, quite a long lead then you will have to get an extension lead as well. Okay so first of all we need to fill both reservoirs up with water so to get out the milk reservoir you simply pull this lever up and it pops out and then you lift it out. And with the water one, you literally just pull it up and out it comes. Okay, so the water reservoirs are filled up to max. Although that one's slightly over. Oops. So next we need to put the large filter attachment into the coffee ground holder. So you'll see there's little notches on here. That has to go in line with the little dip in there. Drop it in and then twist it around to lock it. And then you line it up on the machine to the lock bar. On here there's a lock and unlock. So place it up, turn it to lock. It is quite stiff, I don't know if that's just because it's a new machine. So the machine switches on around the side. There we go. So you have to wait until the two lights here have stopped flashing and then it's heated up. So this does take a few minutes to heat up. Okay, so now the lights have stopped flashing and it means that it's all heated up and ready. So I've got a jug here just to pop underneath, obviously to catch the water. So on here is where you would move the milk frothing handle. Make sure that you move that obviously before you put your cup underneath, otherwise you'll have milk everywhere. Here we have our froth button. So you turn it to how frothy you want your coffee. Obviously maximum froth or minimum, which I assume would be nothing. Okay, so to start our cleaning, first of all, we need to press these two buttons here. So we start with the espresso button first. So we just press that and it should start running through. And there comes the water. So you can see it's obviously steaming up, so it's obviously nice and hot. Okay, so that one has now finished. And then we need to press the froth button as well. And now we wait for that to go through. As you can hear, it's very loud. So this certainly isn't a very quiet machine. So 
So there we are, that's done. Uh, as you can see, I forgot to empty the jug halfway through. So make sure when you do it, you empty the jug because that nearly went horribly wrong and went everywhere. So now that's done, we can now finally make our coffee. So I will get rid of these jugs of water and we'll start making a nice cup of coffee. Okay, so let's make our coffee. So obviously the first thing you need to do is put your coffee grounds into your filters. So I'm just gonna go for a single shot espresso now. So you use your favorite blend. Um, this is one I'm using, which is Island Roasted, which is a mocha espresso blend. So use your handy little scoop you need a single level spoon. Plop it in, oh, it gets a bit messy. And squidge it down with the bottom of the scoop. So, so it's nice and tight in there, as you can see. And now put it in the holder. Give it a spin and now we can put it in the machine. Make sure it's all the way across, which is really tight. So that is really stiff to do. I'm not sure if it's just because it's new or if it just needs to be really tight in there. But one thing I will say is this machine is not very big. If you like having a tall glass like us, it doesn't fit. You can take off the drip tray, but then obviously where do your drips go? Nobody knows. I mean, we'll try and do it like that just so I can show you for this video. So don't forget your frother. So make sure it's leaning nicely in the glass or cup. So up here, I don't know if you can quite see. It's, here we go. So you can see you've got pre-programmed settings on here for a normal latte large latte, normal cappuccino, and a large cappuccino. So we will do a latte for this video. Over here you've got your froth measurer, so you can have little or no froth to a lot of froth. So we'll do a lot of froth because I like lots of froth in my coffee. So then all you need to do is press the one you want. So I want a regular sized latte, so you can see it there. Press it once, and then you just wait and then it will do it for you. So there we go. As you can see, it's mixing all along here. It's got quite a lot of froth on this, which is great for me. So from here, I'm not sure if you can really see. So from here to here, that is all froth, which is really nice for me. So that is a average sized latte, I'd say. So this machine originally cost 299 and it was down to 149 in curries. Uh, it was a Black Friday deal. Um, so I would say that this is quite an expensive coffee machine. And actually I don't find it as easy to run as I do some of the other machines. Obviously I'm yet to taste the coffee, but so far I like it, but I would say it is quite a big faff if you want something quite quick and easy to do. So you can take out the milk reservoir and put it back in the fridge if you don't use all the milk. You don't have to use it all in one go. You obviously do need to clean it quite regularly, otherwise you'll get the smell of sour milk as well. So if you do get this machine, I definitely recommend you have a play with it, see what uh, pre program setting suits you best and what size cup and everything goes best for your liking. Okay, so let's try the coffee. Firstly, it's very hot. <laughs> so that is a great thing because I've noticed that some of the other coffee machines, especially those with pods, don't come out very hot. And it's a bit disappointing because you always have half a... And it's always quite disappointing because you've always got kind of half cold cup of coffee before you even start drinking it. So this is really good. It's really nice and hot as well. So it will last a while in the cup if you don't want to drink it all straight away. Um, the coffee itself is lovely. It's not too strong and it's not too weak. If you prefer a stronger coffee, obviously you just use the double espresso filters. Um, but yeah, I really like the taste of this coffee. Um, 
the machine itself, I would say, is a bit of a faff. Um, but if you have someone else making it for you, like my partner will probably be making it for me most of the time, um, then it is a really good machine. It's great that you can tailor it to your personal tastes. If you prefer a latte, um, an espresso or a cappuccino, this machine does all of it. So yeah, I do recommend this machine, but only if you don't mind a bit of faffing around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one. Bye.